Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Laia and I'm super excited to have you join me for today's mellow creative yoga flow. Today's yoga practice will be accessible, meaning that I will be offering you different options, which also taps into this theme of creativity. Creativity is not only just like painting, drawing, it's actually being able to do what we can with what we have, being adaptable and learning to make choices that support our well-being and how we want to live our life. Today I have a yoga mat and two blocks. If you have props, you're more than welcome to use them. They can be this extra layer of accessibility, which can also spark creativity. But if you don't have props, it's also a way to tap into your creativity by just doing what you can with what you have. Even if I suggest a certain posture, just consider before you just dive into it, just because it's what Laia said, what the teacher said, right? Consider, is this what serves my body right now? Is this going to support the energy that I'm trying to create? I would invite you if you want to, to play some music for this practice. It could also inspire a little bit of movement in you or creativity or a deeper way of breathing. Connecting to rhythm can be really helpful. I will share a playlist with you. Find music that you like if you want to or just put something in on the environment that you love. So maybe you light a candle or you put like cute lighting on like I have. Yeah, just make the place and the space that you're in a little more comfy. friends let's go ahead and get started with this creative flow to get you renewed and energized so bring your big toes together and separate your knees sending your hips back toward your heels maybe you bring something between your sitting bones and your hips perhaps you bring your block underneath your forehead or you could also choose to take your forehead to the ground or utilize your hands as a pillow Give yourself a moment to adjust into the shape. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through the nose or the mouth. Again, inhale, let the breath expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Let it go. One more deep breath in. Exhale, open your mouth, maybe make some sound. Ah, softening toward the earth. Noticing the sensations in your body. Becoming aware of the state of your mind. What thoughts are you giving importance to? What are you allowing to pull your attention away from the breath? From right here, right now? Take a deep breath in, side out, <sighs> lengthen your arms forward. If they're not already there, if there's a block underneath you, move it away to the side and extend through your fingertips, lifting your elbows, lifting your wrists, finding more length from your hips all the way through the side body, through the arms, through the hands, breathe in, lift your chest a little bit more. Breathe out, let yourself relax and surrender toward the floor. Again, inhale, pulse up, lift your chest, maybe lift your gaze. Exhale, pulse back down. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Walk your hands toward you. Start to slowly lift your chest as you draw your knees gently toward one another. You can stay seated on your heels as you draw your arms next to your hips. Relax your shoulders down, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Stay here or as you inhale, lift your arms out and up. Maybe your sitting bones lift away, palms unite overhead. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. You could stay up or lower back down. Depends on how much movement you're seeking. Inhale, take your arms out and up, lift your hips or not. 
Exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart, perhaps lower your hips if you lifted them. One more deep breath in. Exhale, lower your hands back down. Bring them in front of you on the ground, shift your weight forward. Lift your toes, roll your ankles. Perhaps you stretch one leg behind you, pressing through the toes. Shift back and forth. And then do the other side. Just consider what movement you need to release any of the extra sensation you may feel on your legs right now. One more breathe in. And breathe out. Bring yourself to a tabletop, knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Perhaps your fingers are spread wide, or maybe you make fists. Take a moment to move however you want to move. Again, inviting creativity right into this shape. Perhaps your hips move side to side, mobilizing through the spine. Perhaps you'd rather take circles with your hips. A few one way and then the other. But whatever you do, notice your breath. What is it like? One more deep breath in. And on your exhalation, start to find stability and stillness in your tabletop once again. Inhale, send your right leg behind you. Keep your toes on the ground or let them float. It's up to you. Engage your core a little. Exhale, draw your right knee toward your chest. Your toes could drag or they could float. Right knee toward the chest or toward the nose. Inhale, send your right leg behind you again. Exhale, lower your right knee next to the left. Find stability in your tabletop again. Inhale, take your left leg behind you, toes on the ground or floating. Exhale, draw your left knee toward your chest, toward your nose. Your toes could drag or float. One's no better than the other. Extend your leg behind you again. Inhale. Exhale, lower your left knee next to the right. Move your hips side to side or find a little bit of circles or whatever movement serves you once again. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Move your knees slightly back. And perhaps walk your hands about a handprint forward so that you find a nice diagonal line from your knees through the hips all the way through the crown of the head. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend your elbows straight back as you lower yourself down for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Press through your palms and as you inhale, lift your chest just a bit. Your hands could stay on the floor or float. Notice that if your hands float, maybe your chest doesn't lift as high. Press the toenails onto the earth, engage your back body, breathe in. And as you breathe out, make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down. Gently move your hips side to side with your legs extended. Or if you rather, bend your knees and move your legs from side to side in that way. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Extend your legs behind you if they're not already there. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, squeeze your elbows straight back. Inhale, press through your palms, lift your chest as little or as much as you want. Exhale, wave back down. Two more times, inhale, press through your palms, wave up and lift. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale to lift. Exhale, press through your palms, send your hips back, big toes together, knees separate slightly. Bring yourself back toward a child's pose, finding extension through the arms, through the torso, all the way down to your hips. Inhale, press through your fingertips, lift your chest, pulse up. Exhale, pose back down. Bring your hands toward your knees. Bring your knees toward one another. Remain seated on the heels or lift yourself up. Inhale, take your arms out and up. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Now this time, open your arms out to the sides, coming into cactus arms. Breathe in. Lift your chest a little more. Breathe out. Take your right arm over the left. Maybe your hands come toward opposite shoulders. Maybe the backs of your hands or the palms of your hands come toward one another. Notice the difference between keeping your elbows down or up. 
inhale exhale release your arms open them out and up maybe you stay seated on the heels maybe you lift up inhale palms unite exhale hands in front of your heart stay lifted or lower down to the heels open your arms wide inhale coming into cactus arms opening the front body exhale left arm over right hands toward opposite shoulders or perhaps backs of the hands toward one another or palms of the hands toward one another take one deep breath in here and out release the bind of the arms whatever it may be lift your arms out and up maybe lift your hips away from the heels inhale arms up exhale slowly bring your hands in front of you on the floor shifting your weight forward until you find that diagonal line again maybe this time you keep your knees on the ground or you could choose to tuck your toes and lift your knees off the floor take a deep breath in as you shift your weight a little bit forward and as you exhale with your knees down or up lower down for five four three two and one inhale lift your chest open up to the front body exhale bring your hips back maybe your knees stay on the floor and you walk your hands forward coming into puppy pose or perhaps you tuck your toes under and send your hips up and back and you find downward facing dog wherever you are take three breaths noticing how you feel as you move as you breathe as you create a practice that supports you just as you are One more breath, breath in, and out. out. Whether your, your knees are lifted or lowered, lower, inhale, get towards the top of my mat. And then on your exhalation, maybe just one, one forward, forward first, and then, and then the other, other, perhaps you float, perhaps you teleport, I don't know. Bring your, your hands to the floor, to your blocks, to your shins, inhale, lift halfway, find length through the back body. And on your exhalation, bend your knees enough that you can fold the torso over your legs and relax your head down. Let your arms perhaps dangle in front of you, or maybe you rather catch opposite elbows and sway side to side. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Press down through both feet. And on your inhalation, start to let yourself rise up. Take your arms out and up. Move slowly as if you were moving through honey. Let your gaze lift as your palms unite overhead. Perhaps press your hips a little bit forward. Exhale, draw your hands together in front of your heart. Soften your knees and fold all the way back down again, relaxing your head down. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Now as you exhale, bend your right knee and you could keep your right hand on the floor or bring your right forearm to the thigh or of course if you have a block, your hand could be on the block. And as you inhale, bring your left hand to your hip and open up toward the left. You could stay or reach your left arm up. Breathe in. Breathe out, lower both hands down, soften both knees, relax your head. Press through your feet, inhale, slowly rise up, stretch, expand and extend. Exhale, fold again. Relax your head down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend your left knee deeply, left hand on the floor, the block, or left forearm to your left thigh. And on your inhalation, bring your right hand to your hip as you start to open to the right. Or maybe you take your right arm up and your gaze up. Breathe in, expand a little more. Breathe out slowly, bring both hands down, relax your head all the way down inhale rise stretch exhale bring your hands together in front of your heart soften your gaze or close your eyes breathe in breathe out and i invite you to consider right here right now what is one thing that you want to create today with the time that you have with the energy with the skill the capacity that you have physically mentally energetically deep breath in side out 
One more deep breath in, expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Release. Let your arms dangle by the sides for a moment, ground through your feet. Inhale, reach your arms out and up, open up, expand the body. Exhale, bend your knees, take your hands down, down, down toward the blocks, the floor, the legs, relax your head. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, this time frame your right foot with your hands or your blocks. Begin to step your left foot all the way back. Lower your left knee down to the ground and take a moment here to press down through your right foot and draw your right hip slightly back and your left hip forward. Your ham hands could remain grounded or if you rather, as you inhale, take your arms all the way up, lifting your chest, lifting your torso. And as you exhale, bend your arms into cactus. Continue to press down through your front foot. Notice if you get wobbly. What do you make it mean? Inhale here. Exhale, stay or right arm over left. Maybe hands toward opposite shoulders. Or once again, you could find eagle arms. Maybe in your inhalation, you lift your elbows and your, and your gaze a little bit up. And on your exhalation, take your elbows down toward the right knee. Inhale, lift your elbows up. Lift your gaze. Exhale, lower the elbows down. Perhaps you do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Release the bind. Ground your hands onto the blocks or the floor. Lift your left knee. Inhale. And on the exhalation, take both hands to the inside of your right foot or both blocks and start to turn to the long side of the mat, bringing your feet parallel to one another and making sure that it's the outer edges of your feet that are parallel to the one another and to the edges of the mat instead of turning your toes slightly out, yeah? So you're almost pigeon-toed. <laughs> Inhale, press through your palms, lift your chest. Exhale, soften your knees as much as you want and fold, fold, fold. Again, inhale, press and lift. And exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, this time walk your hands toward your back foot, turning toward the back of your mat, square your hips, breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower your right knee down to the floor this time. Press down through your left foot and take a moment to notice how you feel and how you arrive in the shape on this side. It may feel similar than the other or not. So perhaps you remain with your hands supported or slowly pressing onto your left foot. Start to lift your torso up a bit more. Your arms could hang by your sides or on your inhalation, take your arms all the way up. And on the exhale, bend your arms into cactus, lifting your chest a bit more. If you're seeking expansion, maybe you stay here. If you're seeking a little bit of a stretch in the shoulders, breathe in to lift a little more and breathe out left arm over right. Hands toward your shoulders if you want to, or perhaps you bind into eagle arms. And again, once again, what do you need here? What can you creatively connect to? Stillness or movement? Perhaps on the inhale, you lift your elbows more, and on the exhale, you lower them. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Release the bind of the hands, press down through your blocks or the floor, and on your inhalation, lift your left knee, or your right knee rather, and start to turn toward the long side of the mat again. You can use your blocks to help you do that. And take a moment to align your feet wider than your hips, press through the outer edges of the feet, hands to the floor or the blocks, inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, fold. One more, inhale to lift, and exhale to fold. Let yourself hang here for a moment. Maybe your hands remain on your blocks. Maybe you let yourself dangle side to side a bit, or you take a stretch to one side, and then a stretch to the other, keeping your hips as even as possible. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. 
and as you exhale start to turn your left toes up and your so turn all the toes out toward the sides but bend your left knee and lean toward the left for some folks the left heel will lift for some folks the heel may stay on the ground also if you have blocks great way to have a block in front of you take a deep breath in and out one more inhale and exhale slowly bring yourself to center keeping your toes slightly pointing out and shifting toward the other side so this time your right knee bends your left toes point up toward the sky and extend to your left leg as little or as much as you want and just breathe notice where you can find a little more space perhaps by using blocks for some folks maybe even want to sit on your block you could put it on any height and you could sit on it one more breath and then slowly bring your, yourself back through center point your toes forward and your heels gently out inhale to lift halfway and exhale to fold inhale to lift halfway and this time heel to your feet toward one another press down through your feet lift your chest breathe in and as you breathe out start to bend your knees lowering your hips down toward the heels you could bring your blocks next to you to help you stay supported you could bring your hands in front of your heart you can also play with closing one eye or both considering that falling is part of the process that taking risks is part of the process and that the more playful you can be through it all the more open to the possibilities the more creativity flows breathe in and as you breathe out maybe you plop yourself down or maybe you graciously come down i don't know it's up to you you're just as worthy either way bring your feet in front of you move your knees side to side find any movement that serves you here inhale and exhale slow down the movement draw the soles of your feet toward one another they don't need to necessarily touch take a moment to use to um, ground your sitting bones maybe move a little side to side keep your spine long inhale and on your exhalation melt your heart forward and down and you could stay right away or maybe you wave up and down as you inhale you rise up and as you exhale you fold one more inhale and exhale this time relax your head down if you were moving let yourself feel whatever is there to be felt one more deep breath in and out and on your next inhalation start to slowly rise up draw your knees toward one another Give yourself a little hug, maybe move a little side to side. Noticing how you feel. And then slowly lift your chest and bring yourself to a comfortable seat. You could sit on a meditation cushion, a block, a blanket. Just let yourself get comfortable as you notice the energy flowing through you. Maybe the warmth. Let your gaze soften or your eyes close. And once again, ask yourself, what can I do today to connect to my creativity? To be more aligned to who I truly am. Whatever that means today. Take a deep breath in, side out, in through the nose, and out to the nose or the mouth. Last one, inhale, deepest breath you've taken all day. Hold at the top. And release. 
Noticing how you feel in your body, your mind, and energetically. Considering how you can honor this energy throughout your day of creativity, of flow, of being with yourself as yourself. And repeat within or without, thank you, thank you, thank you. Once you feel complete, you can open your eyes. I hope that you have enjoyed this creative flow and that it helps you move into the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining this creative yoga flow. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be well. Bye, everybody.